Hey folks, still trying to get over this damnable cold, but I'm feeling a little better and I've got a new friend battle uh, for you against uh, Kuzo from Mike Hoke of The Underdog Bros. The Underdog Bros is one of my all-time favorite channels. Um, they do really creative teams, and I gotta say, they really embrace the Gen 5 spirit here. You know, a lot of teams nowadays, um, you know, are just rehashes of Gen 4 teams, but they really, really went out and, you know, did uh, made a team that has a lot of what Gen 5 has to offer. Anyway, um, this is only a 4v4 battle because they actually breed the bastards, um, and so their Pokemon aren't all at level 100. Um, I breed and all my Pokemon are at level 100 um, because I spam rare candies that I've hacked into the game. Um, but yeah, anyway, so they're pure, and but that means that we're limited to 4v4 for now. Um, but so anyway, he leads off with his Ampharos and a Dredagon um, and gets off a Cotton Guard. I, with my Mikhail, um, that's my um, Gallade, get off a Drain Punch expecting that Cotton Guard, uh, just trying to get it in before the, uh, the massive defense boost. Anyway, um, no one really interferes with my Musharna's um, Trick Room, which is nice. And then I realize, wait a minute, his Pokemon are all slower than me. Crap. That might not have been the best idea to set up a Trick Room. But anyway, um, his Pokemon may be slow, but they're not slower than my Steelix. So I go ahead and send out my Steelix, um, and I go ahead and Toxic his Ampharos because that thing's going to be pretty impossible to kill. It, its defenses are pretty darn good, and especially after the boost that he's gotten. Um, so anyway, um, he goes ahead and attacks with his Dredagon. I haven't really seen Dredagon used in battles. Um, I, I guess it's just really outclassed by a lot of the other new dragons this generation. Um, but yeah, now Light Screen is up, and um, he's got a Cotton Guard on that Afro, so that thing's going to be really impossible to kill. Um, anyway, I'm not even um, bothering to attack it right now. Um, I'm just focusing on the Dredagon, um, because it's gotten off two Hone Claws. Um, and I actually have a strategy here, um, and that is, so yeah, Ampharos goes ahead and uses Signal Beam against me, uh, against my Musharna, uh, and it's going to do a lot of damage, and I really should pull out my, my Musharna, I figure, but I'm leaving it in base with it for Death Potter. Anyway, all of his boosts are for not, um, with that Dredagon, because I have Dragon Tail on my, uh, Steelix, and that's going to eject him from the battle, and it's also going to deal a super effective hit, and that's kind of awesome. Anyway, he's forced to sell out, uh, to send out his uh, Cophagrigus, um, which is paired with a slake, slacking, um, so that you know slacking can get mummy. Um, but he's not using that strategy today, probably because he figures that I've already seen it. Um, so anyway, uh, with that Earthquake, I managed to get down his Ampharos to low enough HP that another round of Toxic is going to kill it. Um, unfortunately, his Cothagrigus goes ahead and burns my Steelix, rendering it pretty much useless, um, since it is definitely, definitely a physical attacker, and its physical attack isn't that great to begin with. Anyway, um, Mushroom is finally taken out here by a uh, super effective um, signal beam. Oh, it's a crit. Yeah, he gets a lot of lucky crits in this battle. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, someone told me that the crit ratio is higher this generation than last. I don't think that's actually true. It just seems that way. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. <coughs> anyway, his Ampharos dies to poison. And my Hadarak is racking up the burn damage. Um, I go ahead and send out um, Tachikoma, my uh, Rotom Frost form, um, and then he sends out his Thra. Um, I'm not sure, Thra, Throw, I don't know, but anyway, I'm like, oh crap, gotta pull back my Ice type, because if that thing attacks me with a, a with a um, fighting type move, stab fighting type move, it's gonna hurt a lot. Um, but anyway, I send my Mikhail back out, um, <clears throat> because I guess Trick Room is about to end. Um, and, uh, unfortunately, he gets off a wide guard. I was not predicting that, um, and that means that the only Pokemon that my Steelix is going to hit is going to be Gallade. But I figured that's okay, because it's burning, and then I was, oh, what, what is this? He got a, he got a freaking crit! Uh, and so, or I got a freaking crit on myself, and that's just so awful. But anyway, um, I get a, um, Mikhail's down to basically no HP thanks to that Hex, and thanks to the crit Earthquake, so that's just hilarious. Um, but luckily, Mikhail, even though, um, yeah, so the dimensions return to normal, and that's going to be good for me. So I have Gallade go ahead and use Drain Punch to try to recover some HP, even though it does have the Life Orb. Um, I'm not sure whether, you know, it's necessarily worth it to have the Life Orb, you know, more attack versus, um, you know, more attack means I'll be gaining back more HP, but the recoil is going to hurt me. Um, but anyway, uh, Steelix is now down to very, very low HP, 
and those hexes are hurting me really bad. Um, but luckily Mikkel is still alive, um, so I go ahead and rock slide just because Mikkel, um, my Glade cannot take any more residual damage, and I don't feel like ejecting either of these guys with Dragon Tail. Um, <coughs> so Hadarek survives the round of burn damage with 5 HP, and the, um, the light screen goes down, which is going to be really nice for when I send my, um, my, uh, whatchamacallit, Rotom back out. Anyway, Mikhail goes ahead and uses Drain Punch against Thra, um, and it's gonna recover a good amount of damage, uh, a good amount of HP, and I'm hoping it's gonna survive another Hex, um, from that Cophagarus, um, Cophagrevious, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so here comes the Hex, um, and I'm not burned or anything, but it's still hitting a Hex uh, pretty darn hard, and that is enough to take out my Gallade. Um, so this isn't going too well for me. I go ahead and use Rock Slide, but his Wide Guard protected him again. Um, I, again, I guess I could have used Gyro Ball, but his guys are pretty slow, so I don't really know. Um, so at this point, my Steelix dies to burn, um, and I'm down to one Pokemon, and he's got three left. So it might look like I am up uh, Expletive Creek without a paddle, but um, Tachikoma is going to be faster than all of his team because it's a Trick Room team that he has. Um, and his, these two Pokemon were down to basically no HP, so a Discharge is going to be enough to kill him. Um, I'm really lucky that he didn't try to Wide Guard again. There's a 50% chance of that succeeding, um, so I guess he didn't want to risk it. But uh, it would have probably been the better move. And now his Dredagon is going to die to a Blizzard. <coughs> Sorry, folks. Um, and so that is the game. Um, Underdog Bros are really great. I think they're still trying to work out all the bugs with Gen 5, but you should totally check out their channel. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, and challenge, folks. So long.